Hey, good morning, family. Um, I'm going to talk to you all about uh, what what's on my heart and what I've been praying about, you know, and uh, things that I've seen uh, whenever I pray. And so, you know, people are asking me, what do you feel about what's going on with Israel and Iran right now? And this is exactly what I try to tell you all in April. Whenever I came out in March, it was, what was it, probably for, end of February, whenever the Lord told me, he said, the month of April will be, during the eclipse, I said, nothing will happen during the eclipse. But after the eclipse happens, because of Passover, during that time frame, there will be an acceleration of war, an acceleration with the weather, an acceleration with financial things, and acceleration of um, of uh, signs in the heavens, things like that. That it will be, it was almost like he said it was going to, he said, because he told me back, dear Roha Shana, Roha Shana, and I'll repeat myself again. You know, I've, I've said this before, but that, that there would be, uh, from Roha Shana to Roha Shana, it would accelerate and almost double the, the things in the spirit realm and, and things like that. Then he came back to me and he told me, that it would do it again during Passover and that things would ac accelerate even more. And that was this was concerning the red heifer. Things uh, were, were going to escalate because of this. And um, here we are. It's happening right before our face. All this stuff is happening on the news. And it's, it's, it's a big deal. Um, I was interceding for it. And you know, and I told you all about the chemicals, about the 50-gallon drums. It's very serious for what I saw coming out of Iran. You know, back whenever I, I started interceding for this and I was telling you all about this, nothing was in the news about Iran really wanting to do anything. Now, they're saying they're at war with them. And then Iran saying, hey, we're not going to do anything. We're, this was our only little thing. Whatever, they're liars. They're, they're going to plan. They're planning something. And this is this is where I was at in intercessory prayer concerning this. You know, when I told you I saw the 50-gallon drums of biological weapons coming into Syria. And it was traveling on the border of um, Iraq. And it went in. And, and, and I, I watched the truck in the spirit room. I watched it. It's just this. Like I said, this thing is just, it's just now. It's, it's like a powder keg. It's, it's going to get it's going to get even more. I don't know exactly when or whatever. But I'm just telling you all. Um, it, it, we haven't seen the, anything yet. But the Lord will protect his people. I believe with all my heart that we intercede in behalf. But this is where we are with America. I, I, there's, there's a lot that I've seen in the last 48 hours. I went to a prayer thing with uh, Pastor Steve uh, uh, was having uh, late. It was like 3 o'clock in the morning. Everybody was praying. And he was praying and and so he invited me, and I and I went in and started in there praying at, as a leader at, at, at his uh, prayer thing. And all of a sudden, and this, and like I said, this does usually doesn't happen in groups. I'm usually at my in my privacy of my home, and the Lord started taking it. And I started seeing visions of things that were coming, and the Lord warned me uh, in that prayer meeting, which I don't know how many people were there, probably a hundred people or whatever, but um. Uh, he warned me in the visions because I started seeing I, I went over in the spirit and I started seeing and the Lord opened my eyes I saw attacks on American churches mega churches I saw an attack on a church in Florida I saw an attack and, and I'm not going to name any names because this is a public platform but, I, but it, it's a mega church and I saw another attack on a church in, in North Carolina, I believe it was, or South Carolina. It's, I don't know exactly what state this man's church is in. But then the Lord said, it's not about um, non-denominational only. I saw Baptist churches being attacked, Catholic, Methodist, everything. And it was a group. It was a um, terrorist, like um, ISIS related event that was going to try to take place on Sundays at American churches. I don't know exactly when, but it would be um, strategic. Like they, like they would work together. 
wherever these sales of terrorists are in America. The ones that cross the border. And the Lord told me whenever I was praying at Pastor Steve's that uh, he, I saw attacks, like I said, and that it was it was very it was very bad because I saw things happening in these churches with uh, with pow pals and with explosive devices. And so um, that was one of the things I saw the Lord showed me. And then um, I I was shown uh, baseball stadiums. Baseball stadiums open, uh, oh, no, you know, not dome baseball stadium, like, but, but professional major league baseball stadium. Try to f fly in drones with, with uh, C4 and stuff on them, trying to take out large crowds with drones. Not big, huge military drones, but uh, like, you know, like stuff you could probably buy on Amazon. I don't know. But it was like they were using remote control and they were trying to fly them into the stadiums and trying to do things inside there and detonate them on, on the people inside the major baseball stadiums. Okay? So I saw that in the vision. I saw attacks, planned attacks trying to take place uh, strategic in America. And so um, then the Lord showed me an attack on Sydney Harbor at the big opera house and he warned and he warned me about something was going to try to take place there so I interceded and I prayed for that at Pastor Steve thing and so I saw the um some kind of uh escalation it was like the what the what what I was what I was getting in the spirit was they just did a major thing with like I think I don't know how many people got a uh, 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 take, hurt or, or um, passed away because of this. I don't know. I think it was like 30. I need to look it up. I apologize that I didn't do my homework more. But um, it didn't get enough national attention. It didn't create enough fear. And that it was like they were still planning and plotting with the terrorist organizations in Australia trying to take out a major landmark something of great significance to the Australian people. And it was what I was seeing in the spirit. And this would become more national than what they they were trying for. Everything they try to do is in to install fear, to show they're the bully. They're the bad guy in the corner and they want everybody to fear them. And so it didn't get the uh, attention that they wanted. So, um... About Australia, okay? So then I was shown uh, the Olympics. And there, and the Lord warned me to pray for the Olympics. I'm not going to get into all the things the Lord said to me about that. Because it's not necessary for one. But for um, just, it's not wisdom. So, um, but I'm going to tell you all. If you live in Paris, I've told you all before, I saw fires. I saw buildings on fire. I saw a, a, like an attack against Paris and the Eiffel Towers. I remember seeing there's smoke coming up. But now the Lord took me even more. That's all I saw. And I thought, wow, something's fixing to happen with fires in Paris. I felt like in my heart it was related to terrorist, issue, terrorist issues. But I saw, I saw the president of... Uh, the Prime Minister, whoever Emmanuel Macron, so the, the and so like I said, I'm not going to get into all, a lot of that, but I'm going to tell you this: I saw the Olympics, a world stage, uh, the aquatic centers. I saw an attack during that time frame to pray for the protection over this, and that that that, that all hidden things be revealed about uh, the Olympics. That there would be no loss of life or whatever, just to pray over this uh, uh, Olympics ceremonies, and so it was really interesting because when I was praying, usually the Lord, whenever I'm praying, He'll give me whenever it comes to stuff like this, He'll give me cues to pray for one thing. But this time it was like I was bouncing all over the globe, and the Lord was warning me about a strategic things that the, the uh, terrorists were, were plotting and trying to, to do. So, um, 
It was very intense. Oh, and then I saw a train. And I saw a train coming from Germany going into uh, other parts of Europe. And, and, and I don't know, like I said, if it was symbolic, but this train looked green to me. But they had put uh, things on that train to go boom, okay? And it was serious about this train coming. It was like a German, German coming out of Germany. So I'm just saying it was, like I said, it was a passenger uh, train. Um, so those are the things, the key things that I saw in prayer uh uh, that that were, you know, like I said, anything the Lord shows me serious, but I just I felt, you know, just because I, you know, I'm an I'm an American about the churches, about the stadiums, about this stuff that people be watchful, not in fear, not in uh, torment, but to 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 know that your surroundings, even when you're in church, um, to to pray and obey, to plead the blood over your congregation. To drive around your church and plead the blood around your church. If you, you intercessory prayer people, you know what I'm talking about. Using your authority. No weapon formed against you will prosper. Or your pastor or, or whoever, your congregation. We have authority over the, those. Basically, those are devils. And I and I, it's what I, bottom line is what I'm trying to say. Those are demonic spirits inside those terrorists. There, though, that's all it is. It's just a devil. It's a low-level devil trying to, to, to cause havoc, and you have authority over it. You don't have to walk in fear. So you say, I bind the maneuvering of that devil inside of those terrorists. You'll not touch our church. You'll not touch our congregation, whatever. Wherever I attend, no weapon formed against us is going to prosper. And I plead the blood of Jesus all over our, our, our congregation, over the people that are in the congregation, and over my pastor, over pastor's wife, whatever, and over the building. Excuse me. Um... And just intercede that way. You, over f baseball stadiums, over over major gatherings, major gatherings, praying without ceasing. We are in t times like we've never seen before. We are in a very serious time frame. We are, Jesus Christ is coming, y'all. And, and, and the devil knows it. And he is, he is, he sees what's going on. He knows what's going on in the spirit realm. He ain't dumb, <clears throat> and he knows his time on for for doing all his doing is coming to an end, and there will be a day when he is thrown into the lake of fire for all eternity. There will be a day when judgment comes for him and his devils, his demons, all his little imps to help him. That the season of is coming to an end. The season of grace is coming to an end. We're going get we're getting ready to go in the rapture of the church and that we're going into the seven years of tribulation soon. And he knows it. So he's throwing his his fit and he's trying to do his thing and he's trying to <clears throat> bring forth the antichrist agenda as quickly as he can. And he don't have no power and authority. Until the church is removed, until the salt is removed, he can't do nothing. The great restrainer. And the great restrainer is on the inside of the believer. He, it's called the Holy Ghost. The Holy Spirit. He is inside of us. He dwells on the inside of you and me. And we have power and authority to restrain the devil and, and cause him havoc. To say, hey, you can't do what you're trying to do. You stop it right now in the name of Jesus. We will not tolerate your maneuvering and causing human lives to be hurt like this. Just praying over your churches, praying over, uh, praying over um, congregations. Well, it's really serious, and it doesn't even have to do. Like I said, it has to do with uh, multiple. Uh, it's it's all affiliations. It's just Christians in general. Okay, it's not like well we're gonna pick on TV evangelists. No, it's. It's the Baptists, it's the Methodists, it's the Catholics, it's the Church of Christ, it's all of it. It's the body of Christ. Yeah, we all have different beliefs, but we're all still the body of Christ. We all still love Jesus. 
even if we don't all agree on, on doctrine, you know? So this is another thing I warned you all about, about Israel attacking Iran. Remember this. I said, how many times, that, that, that oil would go to $200 a barrel overnight because Israel retaliates against Iran. And I saw gas plants and, and oil plants that were produced re refineries <clears throat> being attacked by the Israeli government. And it was a retaliation. Well, the, the main thing just happened with Iran. Now, are we about to see Israel strike those oil plants and those, and those refineries, the things in Iran that caught? I'm telling you, oil, within a 24-hour period, I saw <clears throat> the U.S., OPEC, all that. The, the, the oil shot up like a rocket. And, and gas was over $8 a gallon nationwide on average for unleaded. Not e the the corn fuel, but the but the pure good gas was over eight dollars a gallon nationwide. They raised the price of of of, of gas well above because it went above two hundred dollars a barrel, especially out in California and, and, and Oregon and all those other places that it was it's already high. But I saw it and I, I tried to warn you all about this. And you know what I think is interesting? I had this vision. Two years ago, two years ago, the Lord warned me about this at the exact same time frame as it right now. The Lord warned me about it. Same time frame he, last year when he warned to pray over Coachella and said that they were plotting something against Coachella. And the Lord warned me about that, told me to pray for that. I intercede for a lot of things, y'all. But they said, well, you've missed it. How many things have you gotten uh, uh, to come to pa pass what the Lord shows you? And I say, man, I've, I've, I've sat on stuff for five years, sometimes longer, before anything ever starts to be in the news. I'm still praying over the thing in Italy the Lord showed me. When I warned you all that a major volcano was going to go off and it was going to wipe out the whole coastal city, and, and, and I saw 300,000 people plus, boom, dead that fast because of the, the, the volcano going off. And I warned everybody, I said, if you feel earthquakes, if you feel a shaking taking place during those time for, in that area and you start seeing smoke coming, you better get out of that area because you don't have much time. Now, we see things, people sending me stuff, hey, did you see the volcano? It's not the one that went off because this was down on a coastal, a coastal area. This was this was like more of like a island, I think, for what I saw on this one. But this was more over towards um, to to a cove area, and I showed you all on the map if you go back and watch where I believe it happens. And and I saw a huge tsunami wave happening. Um, so when Israel does this, what I saw was there would be a lot of anti-Semitism even more so toward Israel because they caused price of gas to go up uh, because of their retaliation against Iran doing what they did. So people were mad worldwide because the price of oil went up so high because there was war in the Middle East again. So people were retaliating, oh, you know, pre protesting and all rioting against the Jewish people. There's more persecution coming on the Jewish people. So I saw that because of uh, their retaliation against their retaliation. And so it, it, was a, it was trying to turn into a major mess. I remember one of my first videos the Lord showed me. Um, I saw a major storm coming on the East Coast. And I saw uh, uh, it getting closer and closer and closer. Well, this time I saw that major storm it went from new york this is the same night i saw all this at pastor steve steve's prayer thing it went from new york all the way down past north carolina and it was coming it was already inland cleared up to tennessee area and i saw, it was like a black haze all over the land from that far that far and that going out to the ocean still that major storm and so it made it inland, and the Lord showed me it again. 
and it was it was linked to terrorist. It was linked to uh, um, Muslim thinking. Um, there was a lot, like I said, uh, that the Lord has showed me in the last couple of 24, 48 hours. But I just, I'm trying to remember everything so I can help you all. So you can help pray for this. And uh, like I said, I don't tr bring it on here to scare anybody. I try to shake you all because I'm trying to tell you big things are happening. And, and Jesus is coming soon. You know, some people don't believe that he's coming anytime soon, but I believe he is. And I believe we're going to see. And some people say, well, we're not going to see any kind of a crash with the economy until later on, like two or three years from now. No, I believe 2025 is a year you all should be really watching. I warned you all about October. You know, I know there's a difference in opinion with a lot of people. And they, some people believe a certain way and they're entitled to their opinion just as much as I'm entitled to my opinion. But I'm telling you, the United States is not the focal point of the end times. Regardless of what, I don't even know if we're, I, don't, I, I can't personally read where we are even in the Bible, you know, where it talks about America at all in the tribulation or anything. But so, you know, other than Mystery Babylon, which I believe, I believe, you know, personally that uh, New York is Mystery Babylon. And people say, what about the hills and all that? Well, it, Robert Breaker goes into all that and he says there is actual hills in um, New York. There's actually hills in there. And I thought it was a brilliant uh, sermon that Robert Breaker preached. He has a YouTube channel and he, he has a lot of subscribers. He's a, he's a real blessing. But, um... So what I'm trying to tell y'all is, you know, people don't agree about New York being Mystery Babylon. I personally believe it is. I've seen it. I've seen it. And so, you say, well, I don't believe you. I don't really care what you believe. I'm trying to tell y'all what the Spirit of the Lord says. Now, if you want to listen, fine. If you don't, go listen to somebody else. But I'm trying to help you all for what I, well, I'm just being real with y'all. And I don't mean to be snippy because people say, well, you're being snippy. I don't mean to be snippy. I'm just trying. It's a serious time. And I'm telling you, so the reason why I'm saying all that, okay, forgive me, I get on these tangents. What I'm trying to tell you all is, is that we, our economy, and, and, and whenever, because some people will say, well, I saw the black horse riding and that's what's coming next, but that's going to be later on. I believe we're, we're about to see, we're about to see the economy of America crash, okay? Regardless of what everybody else want to say. I believe in 2025, I've seen it. The angel came to me. I had a, a visitation of angel. And the angel said to watch the mulberry bush. He wa told me the colors to watch. And I warned you all in the video down below about the stock market crashing. And it was about, and, and about the, the angel writing on the copper pot. Can't tell you what was on the copper pot, but, the, but he wrote on the copper pot. And I saw people standing on the Persian rug and I saw the dinar. And I saw the dinar going up in value and people, and I, and I warned you all about that in the video. I'm not going into all of it because it makes the video too long. But I'm telling you all that, that the dollar is going to go to 50 cents. To, it's going to crash big time. And, and people are going to lose everything in a matter of just a matter of just moments. And, 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 and I'm telling you, America will go through one of the greatest depressions. I saw it. Unless we can stop some of this, we can less, lessen it, I believe, through prayer. There's a lot of things that I believe, but I'm telling you, a great shaking is coming. And um, people aren't ready. And they think, well, it's going to be later on. We have a time of prosperity right now. I, I told you it's a small window. It is a small window of, 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 of if you are listening and the remnant is listening. It will be a small window to, to, for the wealth of the sinner to be laid up for the just even more so. And a financial transfer of wealth from the wicked. If you are listening, it will not be for everybody. And a lot of people, well, I'm, I want to be a part of it. Seek him like you've never sought him before by prayer and fasting seeking his face daily and the lord will show you the secret things but do not seek him for money seek him for relationship if you start seeking him for money i'm telling you it ain't gonna happen because he he is not a genie he's god 
and he wants a relationship with his kids. But if you have intimacy with him, he'll tell you the, the secret things. He will. But it's, but it's never my motive ever to go before him and go, Oh, God, what's on, what's on the agenda to make me rich today? Come on, man. I go to him, Father, I love you. And, I, and I'm telling you, I never hardly ever ask him for anything. He always supplies everything I need. I go in and I say, Lord, you know I, you know I have needs. You know what I, what I have. I already know you know. You, I, I don't have to sit there and echo this to you. I thank you, Father, that you supply all my needs. I thank you, Father, that you take care of me and my wife and my children. And, and I just, it just being real with y'all. And just try and... I try to just focus on him. I just try to focus on having a relationship with him. What's your plan for my life? Because God, I, I don't want to be the captain of my ship. You are the, the one driving my car. You, I'm in the back seat. You're in control of my life. Show me, Lord, what you have for me. What's your plan for my life? Because I because I'm telling you, I have plans of my thought, my thoughts and what I want to do. But but get divine, get the div, God's divine purpose for your life. And he will he as footsteps of the righteous are ordered of the Lord. And just let him order your steps. So that's what I want to tell y'all. There is a great shakening. And like I said, there's a difference in opinion of what people think of how long it's coming. Some people say it's way out there. I I, to, I personally believe you're wrong. I personally believe what I've seen and what the Lord has warned me as an intercessor to tell you what's coming. And like I said, I could be off on timing. I saw the, the two, $200 barrel of oil coming two years ago and it had manifest. And now we're just seeing this start starting to happen. It still has not manifested yet, but I see fruit. I'm going, hey, we could be getting close now. Which, which stinks, but um, all's well. All's well. It's part of it. Then I saw the, like I said, the 50 cents on the dollar, the dollar crash. I saw the, the, the seize all the money in the banks within a seconds. All the money seized. They, 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 then, then you, it was like, I, people say, was it jet debt jubilee? No. The bank, it was like, I'm going to say it like, I'm going to say it like this. The, the loans for the houses and the cars, they didn't expect you to pay them back because everybody, they could not foreclose on all those homes. They could not foreclose on all the, the cars because there was too many people that couldn't make the payments. So it was bad. And I like I said, I saw it was like a, a Great Depression on steroids because people had no idea how to grow crops and do things like they did a hundred years ago. So people were rioting and, and, and I told you all. Then they bring in the, the, the army to stop all this because of the rioting and the people pillaging. You go back and watch the video. Did that, is that happening soon? They said, well, that's going to be whenever the black horse rides. No, that's not a global catastrophic event. That's for the whole world. I'm talking about America, a great shakening in America. But I just want to say, God bless you all. And I hope this video uh, uh, tells you all my, where I'm at and what I believe. And, I, and I'm going to tell you all, and I don't mean this arrogant. When I see something, give it time. It will come. I, I, I'm just telling you all. And they might say, well, you, I, don't, I don't believe it. You don't know me that well. I've only been on the internet for less than a year. But I'm telling you all, the things I see come to pass. Give it time. You'll see it. I'm that confident. And I'm, I'm sure of it. I'm that confident that we will see these things. The Lord does not just show me things and just, well, you know, it's intercessory prayer and I pray over it. So, Let's pray, and I want to intercede for you all today for peace. Father, I thank you for your hand on, on my life 
and, and that, Father, that you're no respecter of persons. I thank you, Father, that you said that you would speak to your people, that you would hear the, the good shepherd's voice and a stranger's voice we will not follow. I thank you, Father, for your great protection over every single one of the people on this YouTube channel. And I thank you, Father, that you are anointing them to do great and mighty works for you in these last days. I thank you, Father, for your angels that keep charge over them and they bear them up in their hands, lest we dash our foot against a stone. I thank you, Father, that you protect over Israel and you undergird them and you give Netanyahu uh, supernatural wisdom on how to lead his people into war. Father, I thank you, Lord, for supernatural protection concerning the soldiers, that there'll be a thousand bullets on one side and 10,000 on the right hand, but nothing shall come nigh them. We call a protection of hedge, and we thank you that all the Iron Dome will always protect and guard uh, that land. Now, God, concerning our churches, concerning our people, we plead the blood of Jesus over us. We thank you, Lord. For our FBI, for the CIA, for, for our intelligence of Homeland Security, we pray for each one of them. If there's corrupt people on there and they're bad people, Father, we thank you that you remove them. And that, Father, that you would raise up righteous, good, godly uh, law enforcement that protects our, our nation in the name of Jesus. And we thank you, Father, that you undergird them with the blood and that, Father, you protect our law enforcement, that they are protected, they, are, they have angels watching over them. We thank you, Father, that the Border Patrol would help us, Father, to weed out the bad people, the terrorists, the, the, the traffickers, the drug traffickers, the sex traffickers, all of them. We thank you, Lord, that they're exposed and they're brought to justice in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord, that your mighty hand of protection is on this nation. I know, Lord, there's a great shaking coming, Father, but I thank you, Lord, that the body of Christ, the remnant that is awake, is ready. And we're ready and we're prepared for such a time as this that we realize that when this happens, Father, that we will be ready to witness and share the love of God with people like, like, like never before. Praying, laying hands on the sick, casting out devils, raising the dead, whatever you call us to do, we do it with great victory and with the anointing of the Holy Spirit. I thank you, Father, you say that if we draw nigh unto you, you come nigh unto us. I thank you, Lord, that we have a, we have a, a revelation of who we are in Christ in these last days. And we give you all the glory, honor, and praise for it in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, like I said, if you could like this video, subscribe, click the notification bell. It's a real blessing to us. Uh, it gets our videos out all over the world. And I just want to say thank you for all the uh, well wishes, all the people that are nice to me in the comment sections. And we will see you next time. Put a smile on your face and a song in your heart. Jesus loves you and we love you. And we will see you next time. God bless you. Bye-bye.